This week, it's been all about COP26. The clock ticks for planet Earth. Can COP26 deliver? Around 120 world leaders are gathering in Glasgow for the talks. With one principal aim, to get the world to commit to reduce carbon emissions and to avoid a climate catastrophe. It's one minute to midnight on that doomsday clock and we need to act now. It's unbelievably serious. <laughs> so what sensible plan has Boris got to save the planet? And I think we certainly could start by rewilding our yes. oceans. There's a lot of you space to do that. feed some of the human beings to the animals. That well... Would, that would... <laughs> Forget the sea! Let's feed Granny to a squirrel! <laughs> she wants to preserve the oceans, he wants to turn us into animal tapas! <laughs> and that wasn't his only mad suggestion. Cows burp a great deal and uh, you know emit gases and we we have to just we have to encourage them to stop burping we have to encourage cows to stop burping how chat to them in a field <laughs> now daisy what should you not do <laughs> burp <laughs> And why is that? Because it's dirty. <laughs> what else? Fart. <laughs> it's bad. Because <laughs> my turds are killing the planet. I'm 41. It's... <laughs> So many nuts ideas. Did anyone else see Prince Charles' speech at the conference? Work together to rescue this precious planet and save the threatened future of our young people. Wise words. So what practical advice has he got that we can all follow? My old Aston Martin, which I've had for 51 years, runs on, can you believe this, surplus English white wine. <laughs> Just fill up your car with Chardonnay. <laughs> Surplus wine. British people don't have leftover wine. <laughs> if the bottle's opened, it's getting finished. <laughs> Mind you, at least Charles was at the conference. The Queen will miss the COP26 climate summit in Glasgow, following advice to rest. Did you see one of the reasons why she's had to rest? The Queen is knackered because she's been staying up <laughs> watching TV. <laughs> Fucking squid game, man. I... <laughs> I'm obsessed. If you'd have told me, hey, Liz! <laughs> Wanna come round mine, watch some Koreans get shot on the head where they play marbles? Probably would have said, not my thing. Turns out I'm hooked. <laughs> I love it. And the Queen's Gambit. Oh! I mean, that's what we call Prince Andrew. But... <laughs> it's still a lot of fun. Worryingly, the Queen wasn't the only absentee. China's President Xi Jinping and Russia's Vladimir Putin won't be joining the talks. Which is brutal because China emits more greenhouse gas than the entire developed world combined. Come on, China, this is important. I mean, even the Taliban have joined calls <laughs> to save the environment. <laughs> if we don't save the planet, innocent women and children will die. And that is our job. <laughs> we believe in the caliphate and meat free Mondays. <laughs> no, you're a meerkat. It's. <laughs> it's. <laughs> it was a shit impression, but. I don't know many Taliban members. It's nuts. <laughs> Terrorists are doing their bit, and some of the richest countries in the world couldn't give a shit. Saudi Arabia, Japan, and Australia are among countries asking the UN to play down the need to move rapidly away from fossil fuels. It's a disgrace. Saudi Arabia love fossil fuels so much, they've <laughs> unveiled plans for a sprawling oil rig themed amusement park. <laughs> Forget Disneyland, we've got Petrol World! <laughs> How bleak does that sound? Hey kids, you've heard of Mickey Mouse? This is Darren Dolphin! <laughs> Mind you, here in Britain, 
We're not exactly saints. Have you seen what we're doing to our water? MPs vote to allow water companies to dump raw sewage into rivers and seas. Our rivers are so disgusting, children can play actual poo sticks. <laughs> <laughs> You know it's bad when someone on the BBC is using language like this. I'll let you guys be the judge of what is coming out of this pipe. But I can tell you one thing by standing, you know, just a couple of metres from it. It smells like absolute <laughs> <laughs> Why did they bleep it? This is what we want on this news. Wouldn't it be great? Good evening. Boris is talking shit, Pretty Patel's a dick, and Keir Starmer is doing piss all. Here's Jenny with the weather. It's fucking raining. <laughs> That's what we want. The news should swear. I mean, fuck me. Look what else is in our rivers. There's wet wipes, there's sanitary towels, there's tampons. Um, we've had swimmers reporting swimming along and having a sanitary towel stick to their face. Tampons on the face! The government are literally making us look like cunts. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No wonder they couldn't find Nemo. Just... <laughs> I've been stuck in a fanny hanky for two months! <laughs> I mean, the way we treat the planet, you kind of understand the protests. Unfortunately, the way some people do it doesn't exactly help. I mean, look at this. The group Ocean Rebellion call this disruption through the medium of art. A protest against ocean pollution entitled Dead Mer People. <laughs> Will somebody not think about the Mer People? <laughs> if we don't do something, fictional characters will die. <laughs> Today the mermaids, tomorrow the pixies. <laughs> How's that helping? It's like this woman earlier this year. We're here to basically put the word out about climate crisis because it's a serious, serious matter. It is a serious matter. So, how did she put the word out? <laughs> <laughs> she got her tits up. <laughs> and I know there's people going, excuse me, if she, as a woman, wants to get her tits up, then that is her business, not yours as a man. And you're right, but it's not going to stop climate change. In the same way, I'm not going to stop knife crime by doing the helicopter. <laughs> you know, just outside the playground, I believe the children... <laughs> I'm doing my bit, what are you doing, eh? <laughs> Mind you, showing your hooters to stop polluters, very proud of that, is... <laughs> There's nothing. This guy took it further. Extinction Rebellion protester glues his head to road. <laughs> Did you see him on the news? He started off so defiant. The government's response to the climate emergency in terms of the number of heat pumps that they're looking to put in, they're looking to put in 90,000 out of 25 million. That's less than one third of 1%. Then when he realised he had to cut his face free with scissors, <laughs> he had to change of heart. Do you regret the, the gluing? Are you, are you um, yeah, it's, it's not one of my better moves. <laughs> <laughs> Find me time again, I'll probably use blue tack. <laughs> it's frustrating, isn't it? Because most protesters make sense. I mean, look at Greta Thunberg. Did you see her arriving at COP? Activists are demanding more action now, led by Greta Thunberg, mobbed as she arrived in Glasgow. But she says there's still hope. If we can't keep the global average temperature rise to, to below 1.5, then we do 1.6, and then 1.7, and so on. We can always prevent things from getting worse. It's never too late to do as much as we can. And she makes good points, but no matter what she says, some parts of the media hate her, particularly GB News. When the Swedish teen speaks, we are meant to listen. Has she been invited? Apparently not. I thought she said she wasn't going. She's really a religious nutter. I think she's just an angry young woman. She does like the limelight after all. How dare she? <laughs> <laughs> How dare she? How dare she save the planet? She should do something honourable like us and set up a news channel for fuckwits. <laughs> It's not just Greta. Did anyone else see this protester having to deal with the 
idiotic suggestion from talk radio presenter Mike Graham. What do you do for a living, well, Cameron? I'm a carpenter. A carpenter, right. So how safe is that for the climate? Well, I work with timber, which is a much more sustainable material rather than concrete. I also but you work with trees that have been cut down then, don't you? It's a sustainable building practice. How is it sustainable if you're killing trees? Because it's regenerative, you can grow trees. Right. <laughs> well, you can, you can grow all sorts of things, can't you? Well, you can't grow concrete. You can. <laughs> See you, Cameron. Cheerio. <laughs>